Graham Bell said in 1914, if you are ambitious to found a new science, measure a smell. Over 100 years later, an olfaction remains a relatively unexplored field. One thing is clear, however, the implication of such an advancement would be major. Consider the dog. Dogs have about 50 times as many olfactory receptors as humans do. This means that they're able to perform a wide variety of olfaction-based tasks in fields ranging from law enforcement to disease detection. I may be a bit biased, but my favorite task is what my service dog, Nara, is able to do for me. And that is detect rapid, potentially dangerous changes in my blood sugar level. A type 1 diabetic's blood sugar fluctuates wildly due to many factors outside their control. In fact, not only does food and insulin affect blood sugar, but so does factors such as exercise, um, sleep, the weather, and stressful, stressful situations like this one. <laughs> so diabetic alert dogs are invaluable tools to type 1 diabetics. However, dogs like NAR are costly to train and maintain. This raises my experimental question, can we train a robot to do what NARA does? It's difficult, however, because we don't know exactly what she smells to alert me to my blood sugar. However, with recent advancements in artificial intelligence, this may be unnecessary. Consider how you train a dog. You begin with a stimulus, usually a verbal command, and then you pair that with an appropriate response or trick. NARA was trained in the same way, except that her stimulus was olfactory. It was a saliva, slam saliva sample collected during a rapid change in my blood sugar. Over time, this sample was shown to her, and she paired the alert response with this scent. She began to distinguish between what was an alertable sample and what was just regular saliva scent. To train a robot to do this, we're using a modified child's vacuum toy called Little Henry, complete with a suction tube, a bucket head, and yes, even a painted face. <laughs> The tube brings in an olfactory sample, which is circulated through the little Henry bucket, where we have placed olfactory sensors connected to a computer. These sensors output levels of gases detected, and that can be stored and analyzed at a later time. Now to train Henry, we use the same process as with NARA. We show Henry what regular saliva samples smell like, and then we show him what saliva samples, saliva samples collected during rapid blood sugar changes smell like. Over time, and with enough computing power, he can start to learn, via a mechanism in machine learning that we call deep learning, what warrants an alert. However, the implications of a device like Henry transcend diabetes management. In fact, olfaction can open up a whole new depth of understanding. Alexander Graham Bell was enthusiastic in 1914 about olfaction, but he had no way of knowing the true potential of measuring a smell. Thank you.